Uh, I welcome all of you to the class. Uh, yesterday we were discussing about the Castiglione's theorem, and today we will apply the Castiglione's theorem in finding the uh, slope of the cantilever beam that we had solved yesterday for for, for the uh, deflection using the Castiglione's theorem. So uh, the topic is same, Castiglione's theorem. We are still there. And the problem that we had taken yesterday was uh, we had a cantilever beam and this cantilever beam was uh, loaded at its uh, it was loaded at its free end and the intensity of the load was and the intensity of the load was P. Okay, the intensity of load was P. The total span of the beam was given to us. It was somewhat L. The total span of the beam was L. And we were saying this is end A and we were calling this as end B. Okay. Now, yesterday we used the expression for finding the slope, uh, for finding the deflection, sorry. And the expression that we used yesterday was that the deflection at point A was coming out equal to uh, it was coming out uh, uh, equal to integral going from 0 to L integral going from 0 to L del m by del p that is the gradient or what sorry the derivative of the moment with respect to load and m by ei m by ei dx this was the expression that was in hand that we were using uh, yesterday and today what we have to use we have to use the expression that the slope at a is equal to integral 0 to l del m by del m okay this is the bending moment at this is the external bending moment that is applied at that is applied at a i will write this as del ma m by ei dx okay this is the formula from castiglione's theorem m by ei dx while i was discussing this formula with you yesterday uh, we were we came to understand we came, we came to know that as far as m is concerned this is the bending moment of the beam okay and as far as ma is concerned this is the bending moment applied at end a okay but at end a we do not have any external bending moment okay so this becomes a problem for us how we can take the derivative of the bending moment m with respect to the moment at a when we do not have any external moment when we do not have any external bending moment acting at a when the value of ma is equal to zero so what the Castiglione's theorem says, it is, it, it gets a little bit modified at the points where you have to find the slope or deflection. But at those points, you may be having that no external load is acting or no external moment is act, act, acting or neither the moment nor the load is acting. Any of the cases can happen. Now at those points where you have, when you come across the points where no external moment is acting, okay? or no external load is acting but you have to use the castellanos theorem we use we modify the castellanos theorem okay now what we do in our case we have to find the uh, deflection we have to find the slope at a while at a there is no external moment what we will say we'll say let ma be the external moment acting at a we'll call as let ma be the external moment acting at a but be careful we are just saying it this is our assumption this is our supposition okay that there is a moment at a and we call that as ma which actually is not acting there okay so we will assume that it is acting there and we will uh, modify the theorem castiglione's theorem to make our assumption uh, very close to the real system okay that is i mean to say we are saying let we are saying let there be the moment at a and let that moment be you may take it clockwise, you may take it anti-clockwise, it's your choice. Let that be MA, okay? And be careful, this is our supposition, okay? In real system, MA is not acting at, 
point A. It's only P that's acting at point A. Okay. So what we will do when we have made this assumption, calculate the bending moment of this beam. Okay. How do we calculate the bending of moment of the beam? We use the method of sections. Okay. Let's take out a section. Okay. And this section we take at a at a distance x from end A. Okay. And we say the point where we have taken the section, we say let the shear force be V and let the value of the bending moment be M. Okay. We have to find this M. Now, in order to make the analysis easy, what we will do, taking moments about an axis passing through this point. Okay. So we'll be having the moment M, which we have to calculate M. And we'll be having the moment because of this uh, P, that will be P into X since its sense of rotation is anti-clockwise, therefore it will be positive. We'll take this as P into X. And we have this moment acting in this section and this moment happens to be clockwise. We'll take this as negative, that is ME, okay? That entire from the equilibrium is equal to zero, okay? Therefore the value of M for us becomes equal to MA this is ma is assumed moment which is not actually acting okay minus p into x fine now since ma is constant and p is also constant x is variable we can also write this as m is a function of x this is uh, written uh, in most of the textbooks m as a function of x fine now uh, what we will do let's go back to our castiglione's theorem as we go to our castiglione's theorem therefore we will say that the value of the value of we'll use the Castiglione's theorem, okay, to find the deflection at a. We're, sorry, to find the slope at a. Therefore, using Castiglione's theorem, the slope at a. Since we have to use del m by del m a, let's perform that step first to make our calculations easy. So we'll write the del m by uh, del m a, the derivative of the bending moment with respect to m a. Now, as we take the derivative with respect to ma as we take the derivative with respect to ma okay so the derivative of ma is equal to the, the derivative ma okay this is equal to del ma uh, as we take the derivative with respect to ma the derivative of ma will be one since p is not function of ma and x is also not function of ma therefore the derivative of this will be zero okay so the derivative of ma with respect to ma is one the derivative of p of x with respect to ma is zero Therefore, del M by del MA for us is equal to 1. Okay. Now, what we will do as we go ahead, uh, we will find a few more. Uh, we'll, use the, we'll use the expression of the Castiglione's theorem. Okay. The expression for Castiglione's theorem is, we know now, the slope at point A is equal to integral 0 to L del m by del m a m by e i m by e i and dx or d of x x is a variable of our integration therefore i will solve it here which implies as far as the deflection at a uh, sorry slope at a is concerned slope at a becomes equal to integral of zero to L. Now, as far as this del M by del MA is concerned, that's equal to one. So we'll write this as one multiplied by M by EI. M is equal to MA minus PX. That's equal to MA minus PX, P of X, MA minus P of X divided by E of I, del M by del MA is equal to one. So we'll write that here and we have variable of integration is dx. Therefore, this ai will come out of integration. We'll take it. Fluctual rigidity is constant. E is constant, i is constant. So we have, we are left with integral of zero to L, m a dx, m a dx, minus integral going from zero to L, p of x dx, p of x, d of x, okay? That comes out equal to one by e i. One by e i. Now, this is m a dx integral going from zero to l. That will be m a multiplied by l. Minus. This is p 
that will come out of integration integral x dx is equal x square by 2 integral going from 0 to L okay therefore this becomes therefore our expression becomes this is equal 1 by EI 1 by EI M A L minus this is P A A X square by 2 that is P by 2 P by 2 this is X going from 0 to L that will be P L square okay this is the expression this is the expression this expression gives us the value of the slope at point B but you know what is the condition for us the condition is M A is equal to 0 there is no moment acting at point A. So we'll substitute in this equation MA is equal to zero. Therefore, as we write, theta B comes out equal using the actual condition, okay? We'll write this as MA equal to zero. This term will become equal to zero. Therefore, the value becomes minus PL square by two times EI. Minus PL square by two times EI. This is this is the value of the slope at point sorry not point b point a this is the value of this is the value of slope at point a okay so how we could calculate it we could calculate it by first assuming that yes there is some moment acting at point a and as we receive as we obtain the final equation in the final equation we will uh, use ma to be equal to zero okay therefore this becomes equal uh, this is the expression for this is the expression for the slope or oh, slope of the b this is how the mod castiglione theorem gets modified and that's why it is sometimes called the this is sometimes called the uh, modified castiglione theorem it is sometimes called the modified castiglione theorem this is called the modified castiglione theorem so wherever we have to find the slope and deflection so uh, the modified castiglione theorem gives us the freedom in the sense that uh, wherever we have to find the slope or deflection whether load is acting there or not whether moment is acting there or not okay we just we have to apply the load assume the load or the moment acting there find the bending moment equation use the expression for the castiglione theorem and once we obtain the final expression for the slope or the deflection put the condition that load is equal to zero or the moment is equal to zero to obtain the value of slope or the deflection.